Everyone, welcome back. Day 24, there are 31 days to a better backswing. If you've been watching along, you're probably going to fast forward through this part. You know what I'm going to say. Just really introducing it to our new viewers. If you've just joined us, you're kind of curious what's going on. Uh, go on the Google Player App Store, search, download our app um, by searching Golf Zone Ledbetter. All our videos up to now are, are on the app. The future videos will be, will be uploaded there. And there's lots of other cool learning opportunities for both players and coaches on the app. I'm with Jonathan Furr from the Gray Institute. No question, the leaders in functional movement. You're going to see the stuff they're taking us through. It looks like golf. It feels like golf. It's so authentic to the golf swing. And we've been having some great feedback. People, our players are really starting to feel a difference in their body and the game. Coaches are also learning from this. So, yeah, if you just joined in, stay tuned. Do a bit of catch up. Watch our, 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 our future videos to come. I think it's a great learning opportunity for everyone. We're still in that phase of load, adding load to our exercises. Jonathan's got two dumbbells out today. Stay tuned to the end. I'm going to try to connect this to the golf swing and how this might be related to your own swing as always. So let's see what he's got to say today. Now um, we've used load where we got both hands on the on, on our on the whatever weight we're we're wheeling around. We kept both feet still. Um, we've kind of changed up where both feet are still, but we're using just one arm. Uh, you name it, we've kind of done a lot now. But now what we're doing is we're getting kind of ramping it up by increasing the challenge beneath us by being real dynamic by using lunges so our feet are moving around, creating really nice weight pressure transfer between uh, around in our feet as well as now we're using just one arm uh, as we're uh, loading our body, okay? So uh, again, you know, the strategy oftentimes is to have both hands on the load when you're, uh, when you're first starting strength training for golf. So we're gonna use our lunges, okay? We're gonna use our lunges where we open up and close up, okay? Those take our hips, our pelvis, and really rotate them naturally, which is exactly what we're after uh, in the backswing to get those hips and our pelvis to rotate right. And then we're gonna just kind of use one one arm, okay? So we're gonna kind of get our get, get in our golf posture, eyes looking at the ball. Let's start first with right foot opening up with the right arm swinging on up to the backswing. So see, I'm letting that arm rotate as I go on up there. I'm trying to keep a nice straight arm here. I'm trying to really kind of work on getting a nice stretch through my chest there. Kind of sinking up with that foot. The lunging foot's hitting the ground. Right before that hand gets to the top, I'm coming out of it. So you kind of, you'll find that. You'll start to find that nice in and out of it. Where you're always leading with the lower body, okay? We can keep that right foot going. And now we can go left arm, nice big width, straight left arm, perfect, okay? Then we can take this foot around, remember we take that toe, point it on around like this, and go back to that right arm, and then that left arm coming across. All right, so again, right here. Trying to take that foot as far around as I can. Okay, you can have some fun, you can alternate, you can kind of go. Okay, it's a really fun workout. Something else I want to teach you with the uh, kind of when you're thinking single arm work, you can put a little lighter weights down, pick up some heavier weights, you can do those same lunges from golf posture, but make it now a shoulder press, okay? So it looks like this. Start with those weights here. Open up, press, open up, press. You really feel that load you down, and then explode up, explode up. Okay, I think that's a tweak if you're looking to get even a little bit more strength in there. Uh, if you're really kind of hitting a pretty good strength session uh, with all your other exercises, throw this one in as a golf specific strength exercise, and you're really gonna enjoy it. So. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks. How do we connect that to swing? Well, the difficult part is that uh, really there's no issue anyone can have in their backswing, which this exercise will, will not help. He's challenging every part of his body in these exercises, challenging the right tip with load, challenging the left tip as you're, as you're doing the window wiper backwards, again, with load. As you're doing these, because of the weight in your the load in your arms, you're actually getting that little bit of separation component as well. So if somebody's struggling separating your lower body and 
your upper body and you're seeing everything kind of moving together or or sliding or moving towards a target you're struggling to be stable and separate this is going to help um arm motion and particularly the lady golfers if you're you know, the lady golfers we see sometimes struggle to deal with the, the load of the club at the top the weight of the club swinging to the right they can't control the weight of the club maybe the arms break down or the, the body starts to extend too much but they can't control the weight of the club clearly without me explaining too much this is going to help if you're somebody who's getting a little low on your backswing the last one jonathan just did there where you're actually pressing upwards again can help you get that but more of a vertical component to your arms get your arms a little higher and wider in the backswing so if you're somebody who's looking low and narrow it's going to help i say sometimes videos are, are nice when it it's directly connected to one issue i have this issue this is what i need it's actually hard for me to say that but this is what great golf training is about. When you're doing this, you're challenging every resource, every part of your body you need to make a good backswing. Every single golfer out there will um, benefit from this. As we said before, uh, tweak things, change the weight, change the load. You don't need to copy Jonathan. You can go much lighter than this. You can go down to kind of one kilogram. You can change the speed uh, a little slower, a little faster, depending where you are in your journey. But just a great exercise, go through it. You're gonna feel the connection to the golf swing and you're gonna feel the benefit in, in your own swing.